Welcome back to another video, you guys, from the Malaysia facility. Today we are going to talk about Drymarcon, our indigo snakes and our Kribo snakes. We have quite a few here. I'm going to show you most of them. I think we're going to start with the Rubidus, the Mexican red tail indigo, I believe is the common name for them. We have quite a few. We have some adults and I have a couple animals that I hatched. I was going to call them babies, but they're no longer babies. I don't think I showed those in the last um, facility video. So let's get started. Most of them are here in the larger cages and we have some kind of scattered about. So let's get started. So this one happens to be a male. I don't even know how many we have here, but I know we have a lot. So they're all slightly different, but they're all the standard Mexican rubidus. So this is a boy. This is not the biggest one that we have, but they are all very mild mannered and they're doing quite well here in the facility. We did cool some as an experiment and we paired some and we did get some infertile eggs, but we're just kind of dialing them in. They haven't really produced for us yet. I went through all the effort of bringing them here. So probably just gonna continue working the project and seeing what ends up coming out of it. I think maybe over time, things will kind of work themselves out. This is also a male, a bit more red. They're utilizing their humid hides quite a bit. Have some moss. Okay, this one's a little bit bigger, but very nice color. And like I said, they're all very mild mannered. I can reach in and grab any of these guys, no problem. So this one's super nice, a lot of nice red color. I like the mottled look. The speckling to me is quite nice. We're making a mess. Well, they're making a mess, but that's okay. This another male. Ah, this is a female. She's pretty nice also, speckled, nice red color, very nice animal. So just kind of randomly pulling animals out. So male, 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 female, 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 and that's about it. I can show you a couple more. This one's a little smaller. They're all just a little bit different, a little bit unique. Nice and mottled, speckled. A little bit less red, but there is some nice red in there. So we're just hoping we can figure these out. I bred these before in the US, but of course here it's completely different. The humidity is different. We don't use heat, we use air conditioning and we have a cold room uh, for cycling and that. So I don't know, I'm just hoping eventually something will happen and we'll kind of unlock the secret to breeding these here in Malaysia. We could have possibly the, the largest group of Drymarcon in, in all of Southeast Asia. I, I feel kind of comfortable saying that. I, th I think we kind of have a huge group here, but this one is going into shed. Nice and mottled red color. So I think that gives you guys a really good taste of the Rubidus. Before I move on to the next one, I'm gonna show you the babies that I hatched in the US in 2020 that I sent over here. They're not babies anymore. So let me get those out for you. So this is the female that I hatched in 2020. I sent over here as a little tiny hatchling. And so it is now growing up. That clutch, I believe only had one female in it, if I can remember correctly. So this is the only female. So I had no choice to pick 
to pick from. <laughs> so the only girl, but turning out so nice, so perfect, just really crisp and clean. Captive bread seems to make quite a big difference. You can just kind of see the difference. There's no war wounds or scars or aging or anything of the sort. So that is a really nice animal and I have a male sibling. We'll get to that next. And here's the male, male sibling that I decided to hold back. So same, lots of nice speckling and mottled. Really, really nice. A little bit bigger than the girl and males almost always top out at a bigger size compared to females. So it's normal that he's a little bit bigger. So cool to see these guys. I'm seeing them growing up. The care is obviously superb over here. I have zero concerns whatsoever. So that's it for the Rubidus and let's move on to the next group. So these are blacktail Kribos. This is female and they're still young, but they're getting, they're getting there slowly but surely. This is another one I sent over here as a baby, as a hatchling. So growing really well, looking quite nice. I will show you the male next. And he is down here. Somewhere. Where are you, buddy? Oh, he's on the other side buried. Not in the hide box. So this is the male blacktail coming along quite nicely. So we're getting there, we're getting there. They're growing quite a, very fast, very fast. Looks to be going into shed. So we have another color phase of blacktails here. This is a, a much older pair and I hope we can pull off a breeding because these are really special. They have kind of a lot of war wounds and things and I just hope we can make it happen. These are just a totally different color. So this is a female. Big and she got some age on her. She just looks, she just looks older to me. So I don't know, I hope we can pull it off. I really hope we can pull it off. It's a very special pair. So that's the female. And the male is down on the bottom and he has, I've showed him before, he has uh, quite a significant stub tail, but it's not, I'm not, it doesn't freak me out. I can still feel hemipenes for the amount of tail that he does have. And he is deep in blue. So this animal is much more kind of red or maroon color than she is, but he's got this stub tail. But I don't think it's affecting any sex organs because I can feel hemipenes back here when I, when I use the rolling technique. So. We'll see. I wish he wasn't in shed because it's a very impressive color. So fingers crossed that one day we can make this happen before it's too late. These are really favorites of mine. So we'll see what we can do, but they're doing really well. They're very comfortable here. They're feeding and, and just everything is great. Perfect sheds and the whole bit. 
So they're not going anywhere. We will work that project until the end. Okay, that's not all. So we also have a pair of unicolor Kribos. This happens to be a female. I think I sent this pair over, not last year. I think I sent this over in 2021 as a fresh, fresh, fresh baby. In fact, my worker was the one that kind of had to get these started. So they are young animals, but unicolor female, and I'll show you the male next. And here is a unicolor male. So kind of interesting, a little bit more modeled pattern. I don't know if it will continue to change, but it certainly might. So that is it for the video, you guys. I know it's very strange. You see in the title, Malaysia Breeding Facility, and I'm showing you Drymarcon. It just like, it doesn't compute. It sounds very strange. But like I said, we are very much interested and excited to be working with Drymarcon. So we just brought our animals here with us. So there's no trick to it. We just did the export and they now reside with us here. We have a pretty significant collection of Drymarcon here. Probably some of the species or subspecies rival that of some keepers in the US. So we have a pretty significant group. Probably, like I said, one of the biggest groups of Drymarcon in Southeast Asia. So it's pretty unique. So hopefully we can make it happen. It is not straightforward here. We are in the other side of the planet. We're doing everything backwards because we have to. It rains every single day. The barometer is up and down and up and down and it's pretty crazy. So I feel like things, conditions are, should be kind of prime for us to be able to pull this stuff off, but we just haven't quite unlocked the secret with cycling. So we have a couple more tricks up our sleeves and we have a lot of animals to try with. So we'll see what happens. But that is about it, you guys. I hope you're enjoying these, these uh, genus or species specific videos. We have some more to come and that is it. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Take care.